I've dabbled with double kick on and off over the last 15 years or so, and I generally find myself more attracted to parts that have a sort of stuttering quality to them, as opposed to like drilling 30 seconds under blast beats. After learning a few particular parts that caught my ear, I noticed there was a common thread between them. The humble Hertha. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that I am a huge proponent of Hertas. I definitely use them way too much, and I gotta move on to something else at some point. But if you haven't heard of Hertas, they are a three beat pattern that's like one and two, three, one and two, three, one and two, three, one and two, three. And they're usually played with single strokes like right, left, 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 right, left. They work well both as triplets and as sixteenths, and today we're gonna play them with our feet, and it's gonna be a great time. We'll start by playing them as triplets so the kick pattern fits evenly in each beat, and that'll sound like this. When leading with the right foot, the left foot ends up playing steady eighth notes, but they're offset by a sixteenth triplet, so that eighth note motion is not immediately apparent. If you feel yourself tensing up while trying to keep that pattern in line, see if you can find that eighth note motion with your left foot. You'll eventually be able to just bounce your leg as if you're keeping time with your foot in the hi-hat pedal. Let's get some semblance of a groove going on. I'll play half-time hands up top, so right hand will just keep quarter notes on this cymbal stack thing, and then I'll hit the snare only on three. Here comes the heavy. Hertos are cool as triplets, but I think they're even cooler as sixteenth notes. Since they are a three-beat pattern, they'll fit in the space of three sixteenth notes, which, when repeated, creates a four against three polymeter. Four repetitions of a herta played as sixteenth notes evenly fills three beats. To get the feel for how the pattern wraps around the beats, play it under quarter notes on a cymbal. Your hand and feet will resolve every three beats. To make this pattern fit evenly into a single measure of four, we can modify it a bit. We could extend that herta into a five beat pattern by simply adding two single strokes to the end of your regular herta. So it becomes one and two, three, four, five. One and two, three, four, five. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. If we play a regular herta followed by a five beat herta, we end up with a pattern that fits evenly into two beats instead of three. Let's try out some chuggy grooves based on these patterns. First, we'll try the three plus five combination. Now we'll have to play that twice to fill the measure. So all together, it'll be three plus plus five plus three plus five. I'll keep quarters going with my right hand on a cymbal and I'll play two measures of regular backbeats hitting the snare on two and four and then two measures of a halftime feel with the snare only on beat three. Let's flip the combination around so the kick pattern becomes 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3. I'll do that same four measure cycle with my hands, so two measures of regular backbeats followed by two measures of a halftime feel. Let's hit it.
From there, practice all the other permutations of those kick patterns. So 3-3-5-5, three, 5-5-3-3, three, 3-5-5-3, five, 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 three, 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 five, five, three, and 5-3-3-5. Three, three, five. All those other combinations are transcribed on my Patreon page. Hit that link in the description, check it out. If you feel okay with all these combinations of 16th notes in 4, let's lean more into the polymetric potential of these patterns. We're going to keep repeating Hertha's under a backbeat. So the kick pattern comes around every 3 beats, and our hands basically come around every 2 beats, because it's like 1 beat of just cymbal, 1 beat of both hands, that makes 2 things. So it takes 6 beats for everything to cycle around again. Let's give it a shot. If you feel real confident, try dropping into a halftime feel with your hands, so it'll take twice as long for everything to cycle around again. But this basically gives us one of the main parts from that Meshuggatune bleed. And I'm sure there are some of you watching this video that saw that coming from a mile away. But yeah, this is a fantastic exercise. I think it sounds rad, especially at higher speeds. We could apply the same concept to those Hertha 5, so now everything will cycle around once every 10 beats. Really try to keep track of the halfway point in this combination. If we're thinking of it as two measures of 5, the snare will land on beat 1 of the second measure of 5, so it almost feels like it turns around to the downbeats instead of the backbeats during the second half. For bonus cool points, drop into a halftime feel with your hands. Yes, this is also a part from Bleed. That song is mandatory listening. But it's super easy to get lost in this combination since it takes 20 beats to cycle around again. So go slowly, use a metronome, and snag yourself a transcription from my Patreon page. For extra bonus cool points, play the Hertha 5 pattern as triplets in a halftime feel. Three repetitions of the Hertha 5 as triplets evenly fills five beats, so it still takes 20 beats for everything to cycle around again. Five against three feels kind of weird at first, so start really slowly to get the feel for it, use a metronome, and snag yourself a transcription from my Patreon page. You could also mix and match these combinations to create more intricate odd meter phrases, but that'll have to be a separate video. If you like what you saw in this video, check out my Patreon page. Your support grants you access to transcriptions for this video, as well as transcriptions for all my other lesson videos. And follow me on Instagram, at drummerhar, to see more videos of my playing. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.